Counsel to the respondents objected to the calling of two ad hoc staff of the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, to testify against Governor Dakwa Abiodun before the Ogun State Governorship Election Petitions Tribunal. It was reported that the two ad hoc staff, a presiding officer and an assistant presiding officer, were summoned with a subpoena to come and give evidence in the petition filed by Ladi Adebotu of the People's Democratic Party, PDP. As one of the subpoenaed staff stepped into the witness box, counsel to the respondents raised objections saying they were not served a notice of the witness, not until Tuesday morning. Godi Uche told the tribunal that the notice was filed on Monday, saying he believed it was served yesterday. Today has made it a total of uh, 71 witnesses who have called so far. In fact, that number is unprecedented, I must tell you. Uh, so but we are bringing more witnesses. And uh, when we came back on the break period today, you know that we brought uh, an, a subpoenaed witness who is or functioned as an ad hoc staff. In fact, he was uh, a presiding officer. We wanted him to speak with respect to the polling unit where he functioned. But uh, there were objections here and there, and uh, the court has listened to those objections, would deliver the ruling along with the final judgment. But we are still coming back tomorrow to still uh, put the evidence of that witness. So the supreme ad hoc witness will still testify tomorrow. So witness will uh, speak, but at the end of the judgment, the, judgment, the judges can rule whether that is evidence is proper or not. But all we have done today is to make our submissions and the court has recorded that and has adjourned the ruling to the final judgment. The ruling will form part of the final judgment of the tribunal. So the tribunal will look at the evidence on the merit and then he will look at also the preliminary objection against the competence of the uh, witness and then the fresh statement on oath that has just been filed and then uh, to be incorporated in the judgment on the merits so that whoever loses would uh, have an opportunity of appealing not only against the final judgment on the merit but also on the decision on the, on the interlocutory point that we took today. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.